Good morning, Monday morning. I hope your guys' day is off to a great start. Um, I've got my interns started full time this week, so that's a great feeling there. The fiber processing facility, Dodge, is working hard there today. Um, we are on a rain delay, so we can't finish planting our final fields. But I am out and about kind of just scouting and pulling soil samples and things like that. So I thought I would take you to our fiber field that we've got. Um, right now I'm walking through the A2 side, so the south side. This is 100% volunteer uh, from last year. So let me turn you around. This is what we're looking at. Overall extremely happy with our coverage we do have a couple thin spots um but that's just mainly where our bales set this winter um we didn't get as good a german germination rate in that area but absolutely beautiful we're already getting that canopy cover um not having to worry too much about pigweeds that are kind of come through you can see like there's kind of a thin spot got a little bit of mustard popping through but that again that won't be that big of a problem pigweeds and crabgrass are our biggest challenge in in the industrial side of the hemp field um they're about up to my knee in terms of height so just kind of walking through absolutely beautiful it's a gorgeous day out today there's some more we are getting some interesting uh, plants that are popping up and are already showing signs of being a male. Um, typically, they're more like this, uh, about a 50-50 ratio. Um, but I think these have received a little bit of stress, so they're already starting to, to, to put on their male parts and, and do that job there. So once, they, once their pollen sacs burst they'll actually just die and then they'll they'll basically disintegrate here in the field we don't see too many of those which is good um but we are noticing a few that are popping up here and there here's another one um is excessive rain an issue uh we actually put fertilizer on and then that rain came and so the plant is really eating this up and jumping uh if the dryland hemp is enjoying the rain as well i don't think we're at an excessive stage this field has pretty good drainage so if you have a field that doesn't really drain and, and it really sits in that water like a heavier clay soil that could be a problem but this is more sand based sandy loam and so we're we're pretty happy with what we got here but yeah if you have any questions drop them below I'm really excited to have you guys out to check this out for the open house. Um, we'll have that July 9th, 5 to 9 p.m. Look for flyers to come out as well for that. Uh, the north side, so our dryland corners look really good. All four corners came up really nice. Um, they're starting to row. They're about this tall. Uh, very happy with germination. We put three different varieties in the four corners. Two of the corners... One is super sandy and one's a very heavy soil. So we put the same variety in both those corners because we'd like to see how it does in different soil types. Um, so that's kind of why we did that. In terms of the north side where we've got the seven varieties, um, it's really starting to come on. It's, it's not up as quick as I would have liked. Uh, but again, that's that's some changes that we'll make next year in, in how we planted. And what I mean by that is our cover crop, we probably should have waited until it died down a little bit more before we planted into it. Um, we'll put a cover crop on again. We were very happy with that. We just needed to burn it down sooner. So uh, the hemp's working its way through a very thick mat of rye, sweet clover. Um, what else we got out there? Radishes. Um, so it's working on that. So I'll show you guys some pictures of that once it starts coming up a little bit better, but it's pretty spotty at the moment. So anyway, have a fabulous Monday, a two variety looking beautiful. And I'll talk to you later.